I'm a little short of breath <laughs> because it has been a long day and I have been breathing all the time. <laughs> Do you care for piano music? Yes. Too bad. <laughs> well, it is always a big question for me to choose something to play. But I think I will uh, talk a little and play a little about Mozart, the Danish composer. <laughs> Hans Christian Mozart. <laughs> Mozart, as you know, was only from here up. He was what we call a bust. <laughs> but in spite of that physical handicap, <laughs> the scholars insist that he was fairly happily married. <laughs> but Mrs. Mozart wasn't. <laughs> She went all the way to the floor. <laughs> I shall now go to the piano. You didn't think we had one. <laughs> you might not. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> well, if the piano went up there, I would go up with it. This is one big black key. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a wonderful piano. It's a shame these big fat opera singers always lean against them and bend them, isn't it? A shame. <laughs> These are heavy arias. And now... Um... <laughs> Is this too drafty? <laughs> Pardon me for sitting down, but it's... <laughs> Actually, I have chosen to play the selection for which I've had most requests during many years on the stage. The last request there was in 1936. <laughs> and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> there are three things. There are three things I can never remember. <laughs> Four. I'm going to play a Viennese waltz by a Viennese composer, <laughs> Gertner. When you hear this, that is the introduction to the waltz. Then when you hear this, that is the main theme of the waltz. Then when you hear this, There is definitely something wrong. <laughs> because that's Chopin. <laughs> oh, now I remember. I was going to speak about Mozart. I'm going to play an opera in, uh, in four flats because he had to move three times. <laughs> <laughs> it's a short opera. Actually, Mozart wrote it, but he had Salieri's name on it. That, that's not the point. I wonder what that thing is for here. 
And millions of people don't know what this thing is for. Unfortunately, I happen to be one of them. Now, anyway. <laughs> It is a very short opera. It is only in one act. It begins when the curtain rises, otherwise you couldn't see a thing. <laughs> on the stage are two large trees, one on this side and one on the other side. First, the tenor comes in. He's supposed to meet his soprano, who hasn't arrived yet, of course. And when she comes in later, she can't find him because he has hide, hidden, hidden himself. Hidden, hidden, hidden. <laughs> now, we're talking about Mozart, not hiding, hidden. hidden. <laughs> behind the tree. Now, she hides behind the other tree because she wants to surprise him when he comes in later, which he doesn't because he's there already. It's very difficult. It's a, a cute plot, so to speak. Now the chorus comes in, but nobody knows why, except Mozart, and he's dead. <laughs> here. Now the father comes in, her father comes in, and he's very angry because he doesn't even want to be in the opera. Yeah, he hates opera, he hates music, and he decides he must die, she dies, and the curtain falls, but not hard enough. <laughs> I take it to the opera where you just hear the overture, but as soon as the tour is over, the rest comes right with it. <coughs> Conductor's footsteps <clears throat> when he enters the orchestra pit. He walks sideways. <laughs> Doctor is a little horse. <laughs> yeah. Now the curtain rises, the tenor comes in from that side in a single file. And he goes behind the tree right away. Thank you, I'll tell him. <laughs> now the leading lady arrives. She's supposed to fill the part of the soprano. She not only fills it, she overflows it. Over here. <laughs> she's a big, she's a big, uh, the big soprano. She's about four and a half feet tall, lying down. <laughs> she arrives in a single pile. Her voice reaches part of the body other singers never heard of. <laughs> and she goes behind a tree and surrounds it completely. Now, while you were laughing and applauding, the chorus has been in and out, and, uh, <laughs> yes, and the baritone comes in. He finds out that he's in the wrong opera. <laughs> yeah. So now the father comes in, the Il Basso. Well, how low can a man get? <laughs> he has now told her all he wants to tell her, and she sings her death aria. <laughs> to make a long story short, she's dies by stabbing herself between the two big trees there on this stage. 